exact, we are just three days away from the eclipse, and while most of us will be enjoying the view right from the ground, some locals are taking to the sky. Yeah, 23 ABC's Leah Pizzetti took a ride to see what the view looks like above the clouds. Ken, I actually got to fly in a small airplane to see just what the view looks like, and I have to say, those who get to fly will certainly have a great view of the moon crossing the path of the sun. Kind of like just starting a car. Ken Hedge owns 10 airplanes in Tehachapi. We've got some very interesting airplanes, a prototype uh, 1938 Piper J4 Cub. He rents them out, and Monday, Glare. his planes are completely booked up. How often do you actually get to fly your airplane in the middle of the day and then go into darkness? He and seven other Tehachapi pilots will hit the sky Monday morning to get a front row seat of the eclipse above the clouds and bad Bakersfield air. By being up uh, six or 7,000 feet above above the layer of, uh, of uh, pollution, uh, it's a wonderful thing. They're not the only pilots with this idea. Thousands across the country will be flying to the line of totality, which could lead to some problems, like small cities taking on big numbers. One of the airports said that we've only got 125 uh, parking spaces, and we've had 250 people say that they're coming to our facility. Also, once the sun is covered, there could be vision problems. Flying in the dark, uh, it's not unsafe, but at the same time, you lose the ability to look out the window and see another airplane. In addition, some pilots are trying to race the darkness to get the maximum experience. The folks that are flying that have fast enough airplanes said that they plan on taking off immediately before the time of the eclipse starting and flying with the blackout and trying to stay in the total darkness as long as they can. Hedge does plan on taking to the sky, but staying local. He says he's looking forward to taking in the whole experience above Tehachapi. It sends a message to all of us little humans that there are things that are much more powerful than we are that are going to happen. Now I want you to take a look at the roof cam right now. You can actually see that haze that he's talking about. You see right there above the skyline, it's a little tan and then it gets to the blue sky. That's what he's talking about. They're talking about flying above that haze into the clear blue sky so they have a better view of this eclipse. And now if you know this sounds like fun and hey, you know, maybe I should rent a plane. <laughs> it's too late. Oh. Yeah, Ken told me they're all they're all booked up. All so booked up. Next time. Hopefully, will they be sharing some photos with us? Yeah, Possibly. yeah. No, I told him to. I told yeah. him to let me know what it looks like up awesome. there. Awesome. Good. That's pretty awesome. And, and also NASA live streaming the mm -hmm. uh, eclipse right. as well. So many ways to see it, but it's pretty cool. How many people are going to be in the sky on the ground in mm -hmm. like Oregon and places like that where it's going to be a total eclipse? It's going to yeah. be crazy. Yeah, and you know, people at home haven't figured out that this is happening. <laughs> They're living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this is all we've been talking about, but we're so excited. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they're watching us, right? 10.20 a.m. on Monday. Yeah, Sounds there you good. go. All right.